Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Do not forget to subscribe. Question I get asked every now and then is, John, after you've washed the car, do you need to wash your wash mitt and do you need to wash your drying towel? Pretty good question, actually, isn't it? Right, the answer <laughs> is it's up to you. <laughs> right, so in the summer here, I've just quickly just rinsed that top off. There's no grit on there. But I've just quickly washed this car out here. Um, the M4, just pan out. And, um, it, you know, it wasn't that dirty, but it needed a wash. Sand spots like this all over it, you know. But if I'd have shown you washing it, I've had a thousand comments saying you're washing a clean car. I'm not. <laughs> It's just you can't see it. So I pre-washed it and then just used a little bit of soap in one of these tiny little buckets to um, clean it out. There's no, you know, that'll do. Um, now, at the end of the wash, if this thing is full of grit and dirt and you can see it all in there and it's black all on there, I would wash it. Um, after this wash though, this mitt isn't. So what you could really do with this, use two hands, is just rinse all the soap out of it. Probably best to, to do it in here actually. Get rid of all your old detergent. Yeah, it's going down the drain. Could have kept the eco warriors. Um, put it back in there. Just really need two hands. Just rinse this. Till all of your soap really is out of it. I'll just set the camera up here. Down there. Still full of detergent. So I'll just do that again. It'll be enough after that. Now that's just running clear water. So if we turn outside, that in the summer, I can now just hang on one of my little hooks <laughs> up there. And after about 24 hours, it'll be dry and you could use that again. Don't typically see me doing that very often, but I'll do it with lamb's wool and all that sort of stuff if I'm using that. Um, typically what I'll do is just chuck this in one of those <laughs> and then wash it later on when I've got a few of them. Um, but that doesn't really need washing. Now drying towel, it can be hard to tell if they're dirty, um, especially with a dark colour like this. So a lighter coloured towel will let you see if you picked up any patches of dirt. But again, in the summertime, after you've dried a car with a towel, and it doesn't look filthy dirty, you can hang that towel up and it'll be dry again tomorrow and you could use that. So if it looks clean, you can't see any dirt on the surface and it's summertime, hang them up and maybe use them again. Um, if it's winter, when that gets wet, no matter what you do really, for me anyway, if I hang it up in here, it's not gonna dry. So it's probably beneficial to give it a wash and a little tiny spin in the tumbler. You know, I'm not supposed to tumble those, but I do. Just a little bit to dry, get them so they're not brittle, you know, and then let them dry out. Um, if you just took this towel and put it in an airing cupboard in, in the winter, it would probably go stiff. Or if you put it on a radiator, it will bake on and go stiff. So it's probably not best. So my take on, can you use, can you just reuse a wash mitt without cleaning it? Uh, yes, in the summer, if it's not very dirty and you rinse it out and it looks clean, you can. In the winter, I probably wouldn't bother. Um, yeah, that's how it goes. Some people will vehemently disagree and say it's got to be surgically clean. <laughs> it's going to be like surgically clean and they've got like a pile of 15 of them and they'll only use it once because once they've used it, it's got dirt on it and it can't go back on the paintwork, which is just living in a world that's too good for me, and that's not said with any sarcasm. If you live in that world, great. Good luck to you. 
I don't live in that world. That world is borderline on BS to me. Um, so I live, it, live, I do it my own way. Um, and it seems to be okay. So, thanks for watching. How do you do it? Do you wash your, how do you eat your Cadbury's cream egg? Do you wash your mitt after every time you wash your car? I think the majority of people say yes with drying towels as well. And I think the majority of people might have a few so they can build up a little load because you can't, I've just washed my car very quickly and that's the main stuff I've got left. I can't just wash that. So you have to kind of build up loads. That's why having a few of them is good. If you're going to build up a load with this, you don't want to put that soaking wet into like a plastic thing sitting in here because it will go rank and mouldy. So you want to really squeeze it all out and let it hang. And then it can sit in the uh, there and you can build up a load without it going mouldy. So there you go. That's everything on um, washing. Um, should you wash your wash mitts? Should you wash your wash mitts after every towel, after every car dry? And should you wash your drying towels after every time you dry a car? Not necessarily. You've got, we've talked about it. Let me know your thoughts on this highly controversial subject. Over and out, Doug.